Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at file concatenation. So file concatenation using the cat command actually allows us to get the contents of the file and print it out. So for example, for example, if I create a file here, so if I say touch file.txt and if I open this up, there we go. And if I just say file on Batman Save that, and if I was to, if I want to print that out, I can just say cat file.txt, and it gets all the text in there. And if there was multi-line text like so, it'll work very well with that as well. So you'll actually put that in there, so which is pretty darn cool. If I did this instead, if I did cat, two greater than symbols, and I specify the file again with these files pretty much in every command you can drag and drop a file location onto it and you don't have to be in that folder so always bear that in mind you'll go into a new line so wherever I type now so I'm going to say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 click enter a b c d e f g a b c d e f g and click enter that'll be enough click press ctrl d and this will save it. So what's it saved? Let me print out the content of file.txt. It's basically concatenated, which means to add on, like join two strings together. So it's added on these two lines that we wrote here onto this. So that's pretty darn cool. Imagine if I wanted to, so if I wanted to, let's create another file, file2.txt. Inside of here, I'm going to put I am going to put file2.txt. This is file2. Enter control D. And if I was to do cat file2, you can see we get that content. But imagine if we want to get multiple files and get the contents and print it out all at the same time. So instead of having to do something like cat file.txt, then cat file txt we can just do this file me cat file.txt or the path to it space file 2.txt click enter as you can see it prints out the content for the first one then it prints out the content for the next file so that is file concatenation nothing more to it than that but really simple and really useful if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.